Hello and welcome back everyone to our Rocket Rabbit uh, run through of Titanfall 2 campaign. In this episode we'll be going into the next boss fight as we continue to platform through this very interesting platforming segment. I actually really like this level. I'm not good at this level or this game in general, but I like this level. This is very fucking inventive. I like the couch. I saw that there was a couch there. Maybe, uh, maybe that's us sitting on the couch and playing the game. Ah, uh, no, no, it is not because uh, the the climax to uh, the climax to this part is honestly really cool. Um, it's it's something that um, and now that you've uh, that now that you've seen the couch, you can probably uh, guess what's uh, what's gonna happen. But uh, I still like this soda. Oh, a bookcase. Yes, a very nice bookcase. I don't see any sodas though. This is definitely some kind of build your own house and then drive it down the highway type of facility manufacturing plant are you all right my luck this place is going to turn itself inside out ah uh, not quite cooper considering the circumstances thanks bt you see these things like upside down or right side up are dependent more on perspective pilot mm. We are riding the partially completed office building. Uh, well, thanks that to the... Like, <laughs> that looks like it's going to go sideways in a moment. Sideways, slantways, backways. There is no absolute direction in the universe. Just like we, can, we have not yet found the center of the universe. I mean... The, the thing about finding the center of the universe is that uh, current qu uh, current uh, accepted phys uh, physics theories state that the universe is ever expanding and also in a, in a state of perpetual entropy. So we're not ever going to find the uh, the dead center of the universe. We'll get close on occasion, maybe, but our current technology is very much uh, dependent on very linear observations. Yeah, because grav because gravity is pitched down. That, uh, yeah, those trees are definitely coming out of the, uh, of the side. Not from the top or the bottom, but from the side. Because gravity is telling us which way is down. Yep. AstroTurf. Mm. Mm. Climb the arms. Yeah, you got a sexy voice. Can't wait to kill you. <laughs> careful, careful. Uh, thankfully, this is not Super Mario Sunshine and slope physics you are usually universal. <laughs> Look, I like Super Mario Sunshine a lot, but one of the big complaints that Mar Super Mario Sunshine will always have forever and always is that slope physics are a theory in that game, not an absolute. Death. I don't want to step on the moving platform, especially that one. That one looks like it's just going to throw me off over and over again. Oh, this one. Okay. Right, so... <laughs> fucking... Oh, careful not to cross the street over here. Mm. Alright, you ready for this punchline, Mr. Cloud? Yeah. Mm. It's coming. So... One of the most popular um, uh, deathmatch maps in all of Call of Duty was this relatively small one that had, you know, two houses in it and was, you know, a mostly nuclear family neighborhood, and it was called Nuketown. Nuketown. This is not Nuketown, sadly, but it's aping Nuketown's aesthetics quite a bit. Welcome to what I'm going to call Nuketown 2.5.0. It do, you know, it does kind of look a lot like Newtown. It's even got the walls that you can grapple onto. No, which is what, uh, which is uh, the core gameplay mechanic of later uh, Call of Duty games. I love Nuketown. Nuketown is honestly my uh, my favorite of the Call of Duty maps. It is ridiculously simple. It's very easy to understand, and the kill zones are relatively obvious. Mm. <sighs> but look at that backdrop, Mr. Cloud. Shame it's all completely fake. Sure. 
So yeah, although this is what I would call Nuketown, what is, what is actually going on here is that Ash is built is uh, at, is that Ash is deciding to build what is effectively a uh, a more commonplace ba uh, battle simulation area where you know we can uh, do in, uh, endless sparring matches against uh, various waves of enemies in order to do combat trials. It is honestly a really good fucking punchline for this level. And here are dudes for us to fight with. The reason, of course, being is that Ash is testing out well. Ash is testing out robots uh, and not <laughs> and not and not soldiers. Yes, Spectre robots. I see. So she's not going to come down and attack us herself just yet. She's going to use her uh, pawns in order to deal damage to us. Yeah. Thankfully, we happen to have the uh, the L Star, and the L Star does absurdly high amounts of damage to robots. Woohoo! No, I'm not in distress, it's just, um, this is highly reminiscent of the early portions of the game where it was also just all a simulation, in it wasn't really happening. You can't rest right now. But this is real. Oh, this is real. Now, there are a lot of hidden uh, weapons and, and additional tactical uh, items that you can find uh, scattered in these houses, which is very nice of them. But you don't honestly need them until you get to about the third wave of Spectres. Once you get to about the third wave of specters and she starts throwing these fuckers at you, then you need to start. You know, then you need to start. You know, um, worrying about your, you know, her additional war out. These are reapers. Reapers are effectively uh, three and a half specters taped together, and uh, they have they've got these uh, these pseudo homing uh, energy projectiles. They've got a shitload more health than, uh, than you want to deal with, but they are still classified as robot enemies. So the L star is still a really good weapon against them. As are any weapons that deal energy-based damage. Mm. And because they are robots, much like Borderlands, they happen to have specific weak points that you can take advantage of. I'm not good at doing that, mind you, but that's how the that's how they want you to deal with this stuff. Anytime you're up against Spectres, you want to use the L Star or other energy-based weapons, whereas uh, human more humanoid targets are more vulnerable to standard ballistic fare. Also, more goddamn right, spider mines. Right, corrosive, fire, electrical, explosive. The Borderlands elements. Earth, air, fire, water. Kaboom! So what is this that she's going to throw at us, Mr. The Cloud Person? Real people? Nah, just just more specters. Okay. No, I mean a shitload of more specters, but more specters all the same. I find it rather appropriate that a character that uses a mask also is using facades and illusory in order to take us out. Oh shit! Now they're coming from the other side. They broke the wall. Yeah, Kappa One. Uh, Kappa One is the is the name of her uh, is the name of her uh, mixed force unit. Um, she had to open she had to open up this wall in order to uh, send them at us. But you know, th this is actually still relatively simple as long as you've got an all star with you. Still breathing. You. Still operational, as but unable to escape. I am detected the outer wall. You should get out of No, no. There's no need to talk over. No need to talk over each other. Okay, now she's coming in to come and kill us herself. Not yet. We have to actually get out of the uh, uh, the testing facility first. And a throwback to Portal. Whee! <laughs> Unable to break free, break free from manipulator arm. Initiating in 1063. Fail. Also, reevaluate de definition of shortcut. Uh I like that joke a lot, but I mentioned that last time. Ash, tell me you killed that pilot. I am dealing with him. Stop getting caught up in your. Oh, but the games are fun. It's why we play video games. Not when your work suffers. Point taken. Ash out. Don't worry. The price I'm putting on his head. If you can buy all the toys. All the toys. Sector four, Charlie. I don't think Titanfall 2's got any significant merchandise, Mr. Cloud. Well, I mean, you have to actually play the game to know what it's all about. Ah, uh, nah. Titanfall 1... Uh, again, Titanfall 1 shipped without a story campaign. 
Titanfall 2 story campaign is, hey, here's a lot of the lore bits that were in Titanfall 1 uh, fleshed out a bit more. And this is uh, one of uh, one of the more uh, recognizable platform uh, platforming segments that gets taken. That's get that is most certainly. I, I wouldn't say that this is taken directly from Doom 2016, but it feels like it's taken directly from Doom 2016. One of these days, when my when I upgrade my computer, I will play Doom 2016 for the channel because Doom 2016 is fucking amazing and it deserves to be played by yes. everyone all over the world, always and all the time. Not so much Doom Eternal, but that is an argument I don't really want to get into. Better times lie ahead. Mm. BT, we're on our way. I mean, we're not supposed to be able to see him through the wall right here, but our targeting reticle does identify BT for us, so. Yeah, in there. Hang on, buddy. You just enjoy your newfound freedom from the manipulator arm. Not that we had anything to do with it. It's only incidental that those explosives were designed to kill us, not necessarily to free you. Well, the explosives that we were killing weren't, had nothing to do with the manipulator arm. He managed to finally break free of the manipulator arm. Whee! Attempt number 64. Successful. No. Kill the Reaper, and then, once the Reaper is down, then get it, then get into BT. Or, uh, if BT will actually let us in now, like so! Ah, ah he grabs finally us. back in the saddle. Oh, and look, he eats Fauna! Us. You are what you eat, and now I'm a fucking tactical genius. Mm, switch back to not. Uh, let's switch back to expedition. Mm. Oh, really, Ronin? Yep. Huh, well, he's named uh, after the Ronin forty-seven. I was trying to shape, uh, use my uh, my magnetic shield in order, in order to repel his rocket launcher, but then he didn't fire his rocket launcher at me, bastard. Now, uh, oh, what's <laughs> happening there Unnamed is uh, the Ronin has got an, uh, an interesting um, a tactical uh, tactical item that has the ability to uh, tether uh, enemy mechs to the ground and make it so that they have significantly reduced movement uh, for a set period of time. Uh, the way the mechs are supposed to counter this is by dashing around a bit, a bunch. Um, it's never something that I'm comfortable with doing, sadly. Mostly because it's on, uh, mostly because it's on the shift key, and as I've uh, and as, as as I have mentioned plenty of times, my keyboard has got a weird placement for the shift key and the control key. Like the entire left si hand side of my keyboard is weird. Not fair. <laughs> The North Star uh, mech Whoa, is actually really bullets. interesting because it has limited flight capabilities, and um, it makes it a really good sniper, at least in theory. I don't like running the North Star, like, at all, but it can be used for that uh, relatively effectively. So it's doing the World of Cloud as we near the, uh, as we near the end of this level. Well, uh, just, uh, you know, just like I was talking about with you, uh, before we started, uh, you, uh, you, when, when you move to a new place, your circumstances, uh, change dramatically. But I no longer have the luxury of being in a place where, you know, you could just enjoy continuous power even if fucking meteors are falling from the sky. Oh, no. Now I live in a put now I live in a part of the country where if you so much as sneeze on the power lines, you're gonna lose power for four to five days. And uh well we're doing pretty good days. so far. That's fucking nuts, man. That's knocking futs. <laughs> it is knocking futs. Here we go. Here is Ash. She is running a she is running a modified Ronin uh, spec. You can tell because uh she really likes her sword. Also, her Ronin's got uh, her Ronin's got, uh, got a combination of cloak and uh, minor teleportation abilities. She is very good with this sword. Uh, I would go so far as to say that Ash is the first is the first you know relatively even boss fight there is. 
I mean, our first boss fight against whoever, whatever the fuck his name was, was mostly tutorial for bosses, and uh, this one, um. yeah, I would, I would qualify this one as our first actual boss fight. But if you come to this fight with any amount of special buildup, pretty much at all, you can just burst core, uh, burst core her down, and then make, and then melee her, her out. Because as a, oh. uh, as a Ronin, she doesn't actually have all that high of, uh, of hole integrity. So yeah. Jesus Christ, we just kind of ripped her out and squished her like a fucking grape. That is the power of the Titans. The Titans are just that much better than human fighters. It's very nice. It was very we must brief. Escape! Yeah. And we got a full health recharge because we took out boss type. Yeah. And because we scouted the arena a little bit. Uh, through the hangar door. And in the next episode, because I do believe we're doing a, a transitional uh, wipe here, right? After uh, BT d uh, delivers another joke. I want to see a slow motion replay of us killing that bitch. <laughs> uh, like, that was that fast. That's like, it almost no it almost looked like poorly animated. Alright, in the next episode, we'll be continuing on with Titanfall 2. Be safe, everybody.